Hey everybody, long time no see. This is Embrace Dark Shade. I know it's been like a year since I've posted anything on this channel. Um, lots of like life stuff happened and uh, I'm not going to really get into super details about it. Basically a bunch of things in my life changed. I wasn't, didn't really have time or a chance to film hardly anything since I last did that uh, Killstar Outfits video, which it says uh, a year ago. So, um... Yeah, lots of stuff changed since then. By, by the time I upload this, well, at the time of recording this, this is January 30th. My birthday is January 31st. Um, I will be 31, so that's kind of the update there. Um, I haven't really got into vlogging anything, which kind of sucks. I've been really wanting to, or even like just go, going places or really doing anything because it doesn't really seem like I have a whole lot of time. Um, I've been working a ton. That last video that I did was in the middle of the pandemic, so that's kind of what was what was going on there. And I wasn't just sitting at home all day. I was actually working and making way more money in hours than I ever was at the time. That's another huge reason why I wasn't filming anything on this channel or the Enlightenment and Auburn channel, other than a few occasional uh, Shadow Man videos that I'm doing over there ever since the remaster came out. So check that out over there. That's my favorite game of all time, and everybody's probably sick of me talking about it. I'm not really going to talk about it here. Um, this is kind of a review haul type video mixed with just vlog type stuff going on here. I've redone this room, obviously. I haven't even really, I haven't filmed anything or what I've been doing the whole time. I've been totally just redoing my whole setup and all that. So here's just a thrown together old school try to do this in one take type video since that's just the way things are um this is now recorded on it i got a webcam for my birthday i also got an elgato capture card so i'm going to mess around with that and the settings and everything so i'm going to start rec recording or streaming uh retro games off of my original hardware and if i'm not doing it off of like Super Nintendo and PlayStation 2 and all that kind of stuff. Then I'll probably I'll just do it off of the, uh, the Switch and the PS4. So, okay. So, things I want to talk about here. Super fun stuff. We've got this guy. I pre-ordered him. This is uh, Sherbet Jungle, which is these guys. Uh, I've met them at a convention a long time ago. If you, if you guys watch one of my vlogs on the Enlightenment and Auburn channel from like forever ago when I was at Tokyo and Tulsa. I think it was 2015 or 2014. I have a little yellow one of this and that's that's uh, Croco Nana is what these are. They're banana alligators so it's like the best of both worlds. This is the uh, new ones that just came out January 2023. These are the Halloween ones. Uh, this is the Boo Nana because it's a ghost crocodile banana. There's also the zombie one, there's a witch one, there's a pumpkin one. The other one I kind of wanted to get other than this was, um, there's a Mothman one. So these are really super cool. They come with, they come with free stickers and stuff too. This is an independent company. Uh, I really like them. Uh, this is really, it's that squishy, it's kind of like that minky material. Uh, I mean, these are like Hot Topic quality stuffed animals. They're not really cheap, they're like 25 bucks, but I mean... It's it's pretty cool. So I don't know. I like his little spooky eyes. So yeah, there's uh the Boo Nana. That's who that is. Um, coworker of mine got me this for my birthday. This cute little bow, and it's got like a hard. Maybe it's a resin. I'm not sure. Uh, skull on there, and then it's got the regular clip. This is a Etsy artist. Her name is D Wyatt. So she makes bows and things uh, by by hand. So I think that's really cool. Maybe she does commissions. I don't know. Ask her. But she also it also comes with a bunch of little stickers and stuff and cute little like skull things. This kind of reminds me of uh, Tim Burton or something like that. So I don't know. I like it. So there we go. Stick that back in the hair. Um, other cool stuff that I've got here. Um, this right here. So, we are now in the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. 
they've released all of these figures. Which, I mean, these were all out. They were totally out before in the Black Series, but these are going to be the Return of the Jedi card back to look like the, the retro. And this Boba Fett, he's special because he comes with literal everything that he ever did in that movie. He's got the cord thing on his arm. He's got the jet pack that's actually fully painted. You can't really see it. It's back here. Back here. And he's got two guns. One gun that's cut in half because Luke cuts it in half in the movie when he's on the sail barge. Um, but yeah, it's super cool. Um, I got to meet Daniel Logan, which is the little kid Boba Fett from Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. The, the little kid with Jango, that's supposed to be Boba. So uh, I met him in real life the other day. He's around, I think he's like 35 years old right now. I mean, I can definitely still tell that it's him. Uh, he's a really nice guy. Uh, he's really, really super down-to-earth dude. Um, he has a Facebook group right here, Bounty Boxes. Uh, he has he has like two different guys helping manage it because now it's like five, six, seven, eight thousand 8,000 uh, people have joined this group. And it's just the fun, like, you know, no, no hate buy it's probably not a buy stuff it might be like a sell or a trade and just talk about boba fett related things or mandalorian or book of boba fett or obi-wan or whatever's going on right now with disney plus but uh i got him to sign it so i got his signature uh right there but yeah he's really into the lore he knows like camino was destroyed and everything like that and uh, also, bonus, he's the voice of himself, as in Little Kid Boba, in uh, uh, the Star Wars Clone Wars animated series. Um, I want to say that took place in around 2010 or so, so obviously he's not a little kid anymore, but he's still voicing himself as young Boba. That's in Season 3 uh, episode where he's disguised as with some of the clone cadets undercover to try to kill uh, Mace Windu without him knowing because he's still trying to take revenge on him whenever he killed his dad, which is Jango Fett. Um, the lore on that is basically Boba Fett is a unaltered clone. He does he ages normally like a normal human boy compared to the other clones because Jango always wanted a son. It's pretty much the, the one of the plot lines in the Star Wars Bounty Hunter PlayStation 2 game. So, that's super cool. That's what's going on there. And, yeah, join join uh, bounty, bounty Boxes. Friend of mine at my birthday party got me these three different, I'm going to classify this as lip gloss. It's not lipstick. It's not lip plumper. So we have a, a black, a blue, and a purple. I'm going to show the purple. That's probably the one that's going to show up the best on film. So they all look like this. So, I mean, I don't know what you call these. I don't know what makeup's called. You guys know that. I've done makeup videos on here before. I definitely need to do more. So, uh, you can keep building it up. But, that's what it looks like. I don't know if this is going to focus. This is webcam. Liquid lipstick. They are cruelty-free as well, which is super cool. So, yep. There's those. Uh... Super cool thing. I definitely want to do a review on this on the Enlightenment and Auburn channel. Um, this is probably the coolest thing that I got. Um, slight backstory here. Um, I know you guys haven't seen me in a while and don't really know um, what's going on with my life. Um, I'm engaged now, so my fiancé, who will probably be on this channel without a doubt, or the other channel... Uh, soon. He got me this. This is Morgan from Darkstalkers. This is uh, one of the uh, Kotobukiya statues. It was either late 2022 or 2023 now. These are super awesome. 
Um, I've never owned any of these. I have a statue of Ray from Evangelion holding a little chibi Godzilla. But this one, I mean, this this camera isn't going to do it justice. The paint job, like the membrane and everything that's in here, everything is just like super, super detailed. And it comes in this gigantic box. And even the box is de is super detailed. It's got like the moon in there. Everything's everything's bats. It's got the there's the artwork. This is this came out when the uh, re-release on the PS4 fighting game uh, Darkstalkers and the Night Warriors and everything and in the English and Japanese versions of these games. All got re-released, and for the, and uh, Super Gem Fighter, and for the first time ever, Red Earth, which is uh, characters I only know from that PlayStation Two game called Capcom Fighting Evolution, which is a compilation game, kind of like Marvel vs. Capcom, but it's not that popular. But yeah, so that's super cool, and there's a, there's a Felicia one, as well. This is before the Felicia one came out, but she's already sold out. This stuff sells out, like, super fast. Okay, people at the party, they know. They know I'm an artist, so. These pins. These pins are super cool. They're like, you shake them. You kind of, you kind of bleed it. Get it going. And it's, like, metallic. And it, it can, you can draw on like most any surface. I tried to test it. I tested it out on my fake leather jacket and it worked. So, a bunch of different surfaces. Um, metal, pottery, wood, rubber, glass, plastic, stone. That's what these are. These are cool. Watch out. They're flammable. They're like an aerosol can. Um, other arts. Of, that was from uh, uh, one of my longtime buddies. Here's another one from a co-worker. Also, a longtime buddy of mine, uh, Master's Touch colored pencils set, which is super awesome. I've never owned anything. I own paintbrushes of this brand. I don't own uh, colored pencils. All mine are Prismacolor, and I've been doing the th a thing where, with my um, with my art, um, I did make a new Instagram. Also, um, Embrace Dark Shade the Instagram. I still have Embrace Dark Shade the Deviant Art. Deviant Art's not going away. That's my entire body of work. I've been drawing stuff traditionally and then isolating those lines in Photoshop and then coloring it digitally, kind of like professional comic book artists do. So I have the precision of my real line art, not drawing on a screen with a stylus in Photoshop, but my real art hybridized with the good colors because I just don't like real colors a lot of the time but this one should work really well there's what all the colors are there's that that's the first layer and that's the second layer So these will be super cool, super experiment. Uh, let me know in the comments. I know this is a giant rambling video. Let me know if you if I want to do if you want me to do any kind of reviews on any of these items here. Possibly, definitely, definitely this is getting reviewed, but I don't know if this other stuff is. Okay, my best friend got me this. Um, I got her the matching one for Christmas so now we can set these up take pictures of them or whatever for sleepover party so here we go we got Draculaura creepover party she comes with the little little uh little bat little pet pet creature and she's got the pillow and the mask and she's got the fingernails she's got the little juice she's got the cute little hair the little bun bun hair 
I like her outfit. I like this. This is the re-release line. I haven't talked about this at all. This literal just came out in like November, December uh, with the new show and everything. They re they're redoing all these for, uh, I don't know. They're kind of changing it for like modern audiences and making it more, I guess, for the girls now or whatever. She's actually shorter than she originally was. And she's curvy, which is cool. Because I like the curvy dolls that um, Barbie is making with that Fashionista line. Even though I don't like that they're not articulated. So I only have like two of them. And it, they're not really that cool. I just kind of want to like DIY them and stuff. But finally Monster High's back. Uh, so I got back into collecting those. There's going to be some new ones coming out that are going to be in a locker and you unlock use the little plastic key to unlock all the things and it's going to have the little blind bags of accessories for them kind of like how lol does lol surprise um how they do with these you know that's a different company or whatever but so far that's pretty cool i also got into collecting um uh the shadow high dolls which is like the alternate line of rainbow high because i don't like rainbow I like the like the goth edgy ones like the band ones i have the black and green girl i definitely want to do a review on her uh in a, at a later date uh i don't care if people are like oh that's lame or whatever uh i've found two new youtube channels since then related to dolls which are uh zombie x corn i definitely recommend his channel and another channel, uh, I want to say it's called Mini Toy Reviews or Adventures. I don't know. It's this other, it's this other dude, and he, he has a really awesome uh, collection. But they only kind of review what I'm interested in. It's not just dolls, everything. It's literal. Right now, all they're doing is Monster High, Shadow High, and Mermaids, Mermaids. So that's what's going on there with that. Um, we got some mini dinosaurs, because we gotta have mini dinosaurs, you know, I mean, I mean, these are the best. We got, uh, Pterodactyl or Pteranodon, we got Parasaurolophus, you know, I'll just love these little party favor guys, I don't know why, I just like collect them, I guess, uh, Apatosaurus, so yeah, I mean, you gotta, gotta have these guys, so that's just there, that's just random. Um, cutest thing ever, um, this guy, this is super awesome, this is like that squishy, uh, squishmallow, pusheen, squishines material, it's super, super soft, and it's super, like, I don't know, squish, I just, I like him, little, little, uh, T-Rex buddy, he reminds me of Yoshi or something from Mario, so we got him. We got this. I've never heard of these. I got this from uh, from a coworker of mine. It says Honey Maru. This is like a little. I guess it's like a little chick. It looks like a dumpling, but it's also that really really squishy material. Also kind of like that little buddy toys brand that does the uh, there's a Super Mario characters like a cheap cheap and a thwomp and there's a blue turtle shell for Mario Kart 8 and stuff like that. But yeah. Uh, Honey Maru, and then it says Honey Maru in Japanese, and then you can't really read it. It says Honey Maru again, but right there it says Bunny Maru, so I don't know if, why it says that, because it's clearly not a bunny. But yeah, this one's also really cool. And then another super cool thing, everybody knows I collect Pusheens, I need to do an update on my Pusheen collection. And I also started collecting uh, Cats vs. Pickles because those are just awesome. It reminded me of Teeny Beanies collecting from uh, McDonald's. So, this one. Bam! Birthday. Birthday, Pusheen. Thought I was going to say, but yeah, it's got the little tag. But it's super cute. This isn't any special squish. This is just regular, regular OG Pusheen right here. It's got the little face. In the cupcake so that's cool because I actually don't even have this like a a big gray one I mean I have this one I have the gamer one I've got the the Loch Ness monster one which is probably my favorite out of all the like strange shaped ones so uh, 
Yeah, oh, and another thing was to go with the Morgan. My fiance got me this, which I've never seen and didn't even know existed. This is a Blu-ray. Dark Stalkers, the complete OVA collection. So this is, it says contains all four episodes. And I'm like, what do you mean episodes? It's 160 minutes. It's in English. And it's in Japanese. So... That's going to be extremely fun to watch. I've only ever seen the American cartoon. It's terrible. The one with, oh, he's oddly attractive for a fish man. That one. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. This was also, this Blu-ray was also probably re-released uh, re with the hype of the uh, most recent game. So, that's what's going on there. Um, I want to thank everybody again if you're watching this video for all the gifts I know I didn't use anybody's names because I don't want to ask everybody for permission yeah I need to get back into everything and this like life happens if anybody just wants to you know, let me know anything I mean I'm always here you can message me I don't know if they do private messages on YouTube anymore um, but Follow me on Instagram, Embrace Dark Shade, DeviantArt, Embrace Dark Shade. My Twitch channel, Enlightenment and Overin. My other YouTube channel, Enlightenment and Overin. So, I will see everybody in the future, hopefully. And I hope everybody's having a good 2023, I guess. It's kind of sucks, everything happening in the world right now, but... It is what it is. This counts as my birthday vlog, so uh, keep this for reference, I guess. I'll talk to everybody later. Bye.